Hello, boys and girls. My name is Miss Heidi, and thank you so much for joining me for Children's Liturgy of the Word. Happy Easter! Did you know that we can still say Happy Easter to each other? Because we're celebrating this season of Easter, which is 50 days long. Do you notice what colors are on our prayer table today? Yes, I see white and gold. Those are colors we use to celebrate Easter. Do you also see this special candle in the middle of our prayer table today? That's called the Paschal Candle, and it's lit at the Easter Vigil Mass and used all throughout the season of Easter. Today is the third Sunday of Easter. In our Gospel, we'll hear another time that the risen Jesus appeared to his disciples. Today, we're going to sing another song about how Jesus gave us new life, and so we also have new life in him. The first sign we're going to learn is alive. Take both thumbs and point them up like this, then push both of them upward. Very good. Want to try again? Well done. Next is the word Christ, which is another word for Jesus. Make a C with one hand and then tap your shoulder and your hip. Excellent job. We'll use these signs in our gathering song, which is called Alive in Christ. Sing along with me. We are alive in Christ. We are alive in Christ. He came to set us free. We are alive in Christ. We are alive in Christ, He gave His life for me. We are alive in Christ, we are alive in Christ. God the Father had a plan to send His Son, the Anointed One, to make His kingdom come through His saving grace. I came to be alive in Him, and He alive in me. We are alive in Christ. We are alive in Christ. He came to set us free. We are alive in Christ. 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 In the water of new life, we are baptized, and so we are. His body now on earth. Holy Spirit, help me to see that I should live as He once did. Peace and charity. We are alive in Christ. We are alive in Christ. He came to set us free. We are alive in Christ. We are alive in Christ. He gave his life for me. We are alive in Christ. We are alive in Christ. Thank you for singing so nicely, boys and girls. Let's look at our coloring page today. What's this girl saying over here? Let's read it. Jesus rose from the dead. Do you think this girl is telling the other people in the picture about Jesus? Yeah, let's read what it says at the bottom now. 
Tell the good news to everyone. Today we'll hear how Jesus tells the disciples about their important job to spread the good news to people near and far. Let's light a candle as we get ready to hear God's word. In today's first reading, we'll hear from St. Peter, who gives a speech at the temple in Jerusalem. Let's listen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter told the people, the God that Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and our other ancestors worshiped has brought honor to his servant, Jesus. He is the one you betrayed you turned against him when he was being tried by Pilate, even though Pilate wanted to set him free. You rejected Jesus, who was holy and good. You asked for a murderer to be set free, and you killed the one who leads people to life. But God raised him from death, and all of us can tell you what he has done. My friends, I'm sure that you and your leaders didn't know what you were doing, but God had his prophets tell that his Messiah would suffer, and now he has kept that promise. So turn to God, give up your sins, and you will be forgiven. The word of the Lord. And we say together, thanks be to God. Can you say that? Thanks be to God. So we just heard Peter talk to a group of people in Jerusalem. He wanted people to know that they had made a mistake when they turned against Jesus and had him crucified. But did Peter say that it was too late to fix their mistake? Yes or no? No, it wasn't too late. God always shows love and mercy when we're sorry. So Peter invited the people to turn back to God and to ask God to forgive their sins. God will always forgive our sins too if we are truly sorry. Now it's time for the responsorial psalm, which is a song that we'll sing together. Our words today are, Lord, let your face shine on us. Sing this with me the second time when I raise my hand. Lord, let your face shine on us. Lord, let your face shine on us. Show me your paths and teach me to follow. Guide me by your truth and instruct me. You keep me safe. Lord, let your face shine on us. Please, Lord, remember you have always been patient and kind. Show how truly kind you are and remember me. Lord, let your face shine on us. Today's psalm asks God to shine his face upon us, to ask him to hear our prayers and to show his love to us. Do you ever ask God to help you? I do too. Do you think that God prays for us? Yes, and Jesus does too. Jesus will never stop praying to God, his Father, for us. Now it's time to stand up and get ready for the gospel. Sing Alleluia with me when I raise my hand. Alleluia. to praise the glory of your name. Gather to hear the word of our God. Alleluia. 
In today's gospel, the disciples see the risen Lord Jesus another time. Listen closely to find out how they felt. The Lord be with you. And we say together, and with your spirit. Can you say that? And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. And we say together, glory to you, O Lord. May Jesus be on my mind, on my lips, and in my heart. The disciples from Emmaus told what happened on the road and how they knew he was the Lord when he broke the bread. While Jesus' disciples were talking about what had happened, Jesus appeared to them and said, Peace be with you. They were frightened and terrified because they thought they were seeing a ghost. But Jesus said, Why are you so frightened? Why do you doubt? Look at my hands and my feet and see who I am. Touch me and find out for yourselves. Ghosts don't have flesh and bones as you see I have. After Jesus said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. The disciples were so glad and amazed that they could not believe it. Jesus then asked them, do you have something to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate it as they watched. Jesus said to them, While I was still with you, I told you that everything written about me in the Law of Moses, the Book of the Prophets, and in the Psalms had to happen. Then he helped them understand the scriptures. He told them, the scriptures say that the Messiah must suffer. Then three days later, he will rise from death. They also say that all people of every nation must be told in my name to turn to God in order to be forgiven. So, beginning in Jerusalem, you must tell everything that has happened. The Gospel of the Lord. And we say together, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Your turn. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You may go ahead and sit down now, boys and girls. Boys and girls, do you know where people go after they die? You might have said heaven. Well, a long time ago, many people thought that dying was like falling asleep and never waking up again. So how did the disciples feel when the risen Lord Jesus appeared to them? They might have felt scared or afraid. They thought that they were seeing a ghost, not a human person. They didn't know what to think the first time they saw Jesus appear to them. Hmm. How did Jesus prove that he wasn't a ghost? Do you remember anything from the gospel? Well, there were a couple of ways. First, he let the disciples touch his hands and his feet. And second, he ate some fish to show that he was really alive. The next thing Jesus did was prove that the Hebrew Bible had predicted his death and resurrection. Wait, what does that mean? Well, it means that the prophets, God's messengers from long ago, had told about what would happen to Jesus many, many years before it happened. For instance, one Psalm said that people would laugh at him and pierce his hands and feet. This told about the way Jesus would be stripped, crucified, and teased by Roman soldiers. Another example is from the book of Isaiah, which says that Jesus would be given great respect and honor because he would carry the sins of many and give himself up to death. 
This predicted that God would reward Jesus for offering up his life for us. There were many, many more prophecies like these, and Jesus told his disciples all about them. The last thing we heard Jesus do today was to ask his disciples to do a really important job. Do you remember what that job was? Take a guess. Well, it was to spread the good news. But, hmm, what is the good news? Well, the good news is that Jesus has risen from the dead and that we also can live forever if we turn away from sin and believe in Jesus. This is what we mean when we talk about the good news. Did you know that you and I are also called to be Jesus' disciples? Yeah, it's true. So we have the same job that the disciples did. Let's say Jesus Help me to spread your good news to everyone. Your turn. Jesus, help me to spread your good news to everyone. Well done. Now we get to sing a song to say what we believe in, to profess our faith. Your part will be, Yes, Lord, I believe. Sing along with me. Do you believe in God the Father? Yes, Lord, I believe. Who made the earth and all we see? Yes, Lord, I believe. Do you believe in Jesus Christ? Yes, Lord, I believe. Conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit? Yes, Lord, I believe. I believe in God the Father. I believe in God the Son. I believe in the Holy Spirit and the strength that makes us one. I believe that Mother Mary is the mother of God's Son. I believe, I do believe. Do you believe that Jesus died? Yes, Lord, I believe. He died for us so we could live. Yes, Lord, I believe. Do you believe he rose again? Yes, Lord, I believe. He's seated now at God's right hand. Yes, Lord, I believe. I believe in God the Father. I believe in God the Son. I believe in the Holy Spirit and the strength that makes us one. I believe that Mother Mary is the mother of God's Son. I believe. I do believe. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit? Yes, Lord, I believe. The Catholic Church and communion of saints? Yes, Lord, I believe. Do you believe in God's forgiveness? Yes, Lord, I believe. That we will rise to life again? Yes, Lord, I believe. I believe in God the Father. I believe in God the Son. I believe in the Holy Spirit and the strength that makes us one. I believe that Mother Mary is the mother of God's Son. I believe, I do believe. This is our faith which we profess. Yes, Lord, I believe. I believe in God the Father. I believe in God the Son. I believe in the Holy Spirit and the strength that makes us one. I believe that Mother Mary is the mother of God's Son. I believe, I do believe. I believe, I do believe. Now it's time for the prayer of the faithful, where we bring our prayers to God. Boys and girls, God will give us eternal life if we stay strong in our faith. Now let's pray for all those who need our prayers. After each petition, please sing, Lord, hear our prayer. That our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and all leaders of the church will tell the good news in every land, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That 
people who have no faith will learn about Jesus and believe the good news. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are sick or suffering, and for all doctors and nurses who take care of them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the grace to see every human as a child of God, no matter their skin color, language, culture, or stage of life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Now it's our turn to bring our prayers to God, either out loud or in our hearts. Let's bow our heads. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Loving God, today's gospel reminds us that we have nothing to fear. When Jesus died, he set us free from everything that is evil. When he rose from the dead, he showed us the way to everything that is good. May we follow him all the way to heaven. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Can you say that? Amen. Good job. This ends today's Children's Liturgy, boys and girls, but don't worry, there's still more you can do now to proclaim the good news of Jesus. Use the link below to download the Tell the Good News coloring page. Thanks to everyone who sent in their beautiful artwork to us. We'll show your coloring pages at the end of our next full-length episode. If your parents would like to share your weekly coloring pages or freehand faith-based drawings, have them take a picture of your drawing and email it to kidsliturgy2020 at gmail.com. We'll show your artwork on an upcoming episode. Check out Catholic composer John Berlin's latest CD, Into the World. Into the World invites listeners on a journey of deep faith with a diverse collection of praise and worship songs based on the scriptures. Visit his website at johnberlin.net to order. Miss Heidi is proud to partner with Bayard for family and child faith formation. To order Children Celebrate Children's Liturgy Leaders Guide or Leaflets, the Living with Christ Sunday Missal for Young Catholics, Flom Gospel Weeklies, or John Berlin's Religious Music, visit bayardfaithresources.com. Receive 15% off select items with promo code Miss Heidi. Thank you so much, boys and girls, for listening to God's Word with me today as we continue the season of Easter. Stay well, God bless you, and remember that Jesus loves you. He is not here, the angel said. He has risen from the dead. You must go to Galilee instead. And tell the disciples he lives. The women took spices to the tomb and found the stone rolled away. The body of the Lord, it was not there. Two men in white appeared to them. Not here, the angel said, He has risen from the dead. You must go to Galilee instead and tell the disciples he lives. Joanne, Magdalene, and Mary, too, ran to tell the disciples the good news. It was so difficult to believe. Jesus who was dead now lives and breathes. He is not here, the angel said. He has risen from the dead. You must go to Galilee instead and tell the disciples he lives. They have
had gathered in the upper room In the sadness and fear Jesus did appear Peace to you, he said with love and care Now I will be with you not here, the angel said. He has risen from the dead. You must go to Galilee instead and tell the disciples he lives. He is not here, the angel said. He has risen from the dead. You must go to Galilee instead and tell the disciples 